Hi guys, I'm back with another video, and today we're going to be doing some Halloween nails, and um, the nails are going to be spider themed, and um, I already have on my nails uh, a white base coat, and then two coats of clean colors, um, neon orange, and now what I'm doing is I'm building a gradient with clean colors, neon orange, and then wet and wild's nuclear war, and sinful colors, black on black. And actually what I'm going to do is just a couple of coats with using the Simple Colors Black on Black. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to um, Bundle Monsters Black Stamping Polish and do a final coat with that. So you can see that it's not a very dark um, color there. But when I tried to do on my right hand, I used um, the Neon Orange, the Nuclear War, and then just the Black Stamping Polish. And it didn't really give enough time for the oranges to blend very well. So we're going to start with this and then maybe the last coat change it up. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of that Bundle Monster Black Stamping Polish because I feel like it streaks so easily with top coats. So I thought I'd try to use it as regular polish because surprisingly I got my Mundo de Unas order already and normally it's like takes a month and a half. Oh my gosh, I was totally out of frame for that. Sorry guys. Um, but it came in. And then I also got a new stamper from them. I got this one. So I'm super excited about that. So okay, I'll show you this last nail since I was completely out of frame for that other one. And then I will uh, finish the rest off camera. So there's the black. And then I just try to line it up so that just the, the tip of my nail is what gets black. Okay. And out of frame again. There we go. Okay, I'm going to finish up and I'll be... Okay, so I am back and I ended up not, not using the um, Bundle Monster Black. Um, I don't know if you can tell... But on my right hand, if I get close, can you tell? I just did not like the way it blended. So I went ahead and just did several coats, there we go, of the other one. My cuticles are so dry. Ugh. Okay, so this is the hand with the Bundle Monster, and I don't know, I'm just not loving that polish. Okay, so anyway, we are done, and we're going to do our stamping. And like I said, I got my Mundo de Uñas order, so I got a new white. And I also got a new black. Oops. And I'm so excited because they are the best polishes. Okay, and then I got my new stamper, which you'll see in just a second. So what I'm gonna do is take this spider web here and scrape it. And pick it up with my awesome new stamper. I'm hoping you guys can see this so much better now because it's clear. Okay, and so then I'm going to put the spider webs just on the tip where the black is, and then right up on the orange. Yay! Oh, that looks cute. I love it. Okay, and then I'm going to clean off my stamper with the lint roller. And I guess, I don't know if I've ever showed that before, what I'm doing there. Okay, so I take my lint roller, and then you just put the stamper on there like that, and then it, it cleans it off. I don't know if I've ever said that that's what I'm doing when I say I clean off my lint roller. Okay, so then I'm going to take these hanging down spiders here and I'm going to put those on. Ah, camera falling. Sorry. Okay. So I'm going to pick those up. And there's my image and just take off the stuff on the side. And then I'm going to line them up right up above my spider web. Oh, my little spiders. There we go. How cute are they? And then that's all I'm going to do for this manicure. Um, because I am obsessed with Halloween, I am planning on doing several spider manicures. Um, the prompt for the Claristel Challenge for October 1st is spiders. And so um, 
I'm going to do as many as I can from now until the first, and then after that I'll do as many as I can for the next prompt, then the next, and the next. So you're going to be sick of me by the time the month of October is over, but I do not care because I love Halloween and Halloween designs. So all I need to do now is peel off my latex, and then um, I'm going to take, there's minimal cleanup, so let's get that cleaned up, and I've got my new brush from Twink Twinkle Tea. That cleaned up. There we go. And then I've said this before, but I'll just do it, say it again. When you are sealing in your stamping, here, let's zoom in so you can really see. There you go. When you are sealing in your stamping, you want to make sure that all of your stamp is down, and then you want to use a thick bead of polish. So let's see if I can get it so you can see. Got a big old glob on there. And then always seal the tip in too. And there we go. And that's my finished manicure. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you love it. Um, and be prepared because this month is going to be non-stop Halloween manicures. See you later. Bye.